Hey, what's up guys, it's RJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another sneaker unboxing. And today we're gonna take a look at a pair of shoes that I've been super excited about. Super, super, super excited to take a look at. I mean, like I'm kind of excited, it's whatever, no big deal. Not even, not even really excited. No, I'm kidding, I am pretty excited. And I'm not necessarily super excited about the shoe because as far as the silhouette goes, I'm not a huge fan. I've talked about them before. I reviewed a pair of uh, XR1s a few days ago, the XR1 Trail, sorry, I was corrected and my bad. Um, the whole video I was referring to the outsole as the wrong outsole. Anyway, people make mistakes, my bad. So today we're gonna take a look at the NMD R2. The NMD is is a good looking shoe. There's a, there's a lot of people that really like them and I'm just not a huge fan. You know, I always have leaned more toward the Ultra Boost um, lately more towards pure boost. I like Yeezys. I like, there's still Nikes I'm in love with, but today the NMD R2. And I'm excited because they finally did something that I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for for so long on the NMD. Now, just to touch back real quick, the first NMD that dropped was the OG colorway, all black prime knit upper with the ankle collar that I absolutely hate. I hate hate the ankle collar. I don't know why. It looks good on a lot of people. I just don't like it. It it hugs your ankle. I'm just not a fan of it. And I, I, I don't know. That, that's all I can say about it. So the only pair of NMDs that I still own to this day, aside from the trails that I reviewed last week, are the original Tokyo Meshes, which dropped with two other NMDs at Foot Locker way, way, way back when the NMDs first came out. Today's pair we're taking a look at, it honestly looks like Adidas went way, way back in time and just reconstructed a really simple original sneaker. Obviously, there's a few exceptions to that. The fact that every NMD has a ton of boost and that's what makes these unique. You know, that's why people are still so obsessed with Adidas, just the brand in general, boost. The boost as a technology, phenomenal, bar none nothing even holds a candle to it right now, nothing at all. Now Nike does have something coming soon, I think in a couple months if I'm not mistaken, but we'll touch on that in another video. That's that's a different topic for a different day, but right now, nothing. Boost is the most comfortable thing on the market and it's proven, you know, that nothing, nothing is, nothing's coming even close. I have never held these shoes. I didn't do a whole lot of research on them just because I wanted to open them up hold them in hand. I like, I like, you know, I like for you guys to have the same experience that I do when I open these up, take a look at them. It's my first impression on the shoe. So I don't do a whole lot of research. You know, I watch a few YouTubers here and there, uh, you know, and I catch a few glimpses of them reviewing the shoes and them mentioning a few things, which is obviously helpful. But this shoe, I haven't watched anything on it yet. So I don't know if the upper is prime knit or if the upper is mesh. I just know there's a ton of boost, just like every other NMD, every ultra boost all the hyped Adidas right now. So with all that said, two colorways I believe dropped for men here in the US and there was a white and a black. I missed out on both here in the US. So I came across a site I believe in France called Street Connection. I had never heard of them before. I did a little trick of the trade I guess that maybe some people don't even know about. You take the style code of the shoe, Google it and a lot of stores will pop up if they've got them in stock. And that's, you know, that's how I've come up on a lot of different shoes over the past couple years. So keep that in mind, style code. You can typically find the style code on adidas.com if they're still available or just you know search around for it and you'll find it, Google it. Bunch of stores pop up all over the world. Like I said, street connection in France. So shout out to them. And after exchange rates and everything, I believe US retail was 170 and I got these shipped for less than US retail before tax. So I think I paid 160 and change for these and that's after shipping and everything and shipping is like 40 bucks overseas typically. So hell of a deal after exchange rates, had to pick them up, super excited. And I think that's all the rambling I have to do. So let's just open them up. I've had a ton of trouble using a knife and opening boxes lately. I have no idea why. All black box. I've actually never had an all black box for any Adidas and I'm not sure if this is a European thing or what the deal is. Um, and I don't know what kind of boxes came in in the US. 
So if anybody knows, leave it down in the comments. Let me know if this is a European exclusive. I have no idea. Start with the box tag right there, US size 10. That's the size I wear in the meshes that I mentioned earlier. I'm hoping it's the same size. Typically NMDs have always run half size to a full size small for me, depending on if they're mesh or prime knit, I'm not 100% sure. So like I said, I'm hoping these run the same as the meshes. I figured they would, but who knows. Back of the box right there, the brand with the three stripes in four different languages. As they do on everything, they decide to put that on. Pretty cool. I like the all black box, definitely a good change of pace from the blue originals box and the yellow and purple boost boxes. And there they are. So I did double check and supposedly this is prime knit. Now it's not as soft as most and I think that's because on the majority of the shoe, there's extra padding on the inside with a mesh liner. So with that said, let's break the shoe down, talk about the construction a bit, just a bit about what I observed about the shoe and what I like, what I dislike. Like I said, we'll start with the upper. The whole upper, front to back, is prime knit on the outside. You do have the three stripes right here, which I believe are nylon, if I'm not mistaken. Back panel does include leather right around that pull tab. And this style back panel has been used on a few different NMDs. I believe it was the same on the trails that I reviewed last time. Same new style pull tab. You can do a few different things with that pull tab, whatever you prefer. I'll probably just leave it up. Let's come to the inside of the shoe. Now the one huge change on the R2s that I've noticed is whatever you wanna call these, I call them the nodes on the NMD outsole. There's only one big ass node on the inside of the shoe. The outside is completely bare, but they have added a few stripes back here where there would have been a node on previous NMDs. The front's clear, front on the inside clear, so just that one big node on the inside of the shoe. Again, three stripes in nylon right there on the inside. And behind the prime knit, starting right around the ankle support, like I said earlier, a ton of mesh padding in there. So that's something that's really different on all NMDs. NMD, to, my, to the best of my knowledge, no NMD has had that thus far. And that's kind of why I said Adidas went backwards and kind of gave us an old school sneaker because everything that they've done with prime knit is basically just a prime knit outer with not a whole lot of padding inside. You know, some shoes do have a bit of padding like the Yeezys and a few others. This is just old school padding with a mesh liner inside. There's no insole, straight boost on the foot, which I'm a fan of. You guys have heard me talk about that before. I'm not a huge fan of insoles on the boost just because it's so comfortable without it. The tongue does feature a leather Adidas logo, flat black laces, super simple, big fan. I'm sure they're gonna be super long because Adidas continues to give us ridiculously long laces, but we'll take a look at those on foot. You get all your tags, and I think European releases have more tags than US releases. Again, that's just me guessing, not 100% sure. Like I mentioned earlier, ton of boost on the midsole. I think I might have said outsole earlier. I apologize if I did. Outsole, typical NMD outsole. You have the Adidas branding right there, as always. The brand with the three stripes, like I said, in four different languages. I believe English, German, French, and Japanese. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know I got at least three of those right. English 100% Japanese, I guess German because Adidas is a German brand and I think French. I don't speak anything else but English, so pardon my ignorance if I'm wrong. And I think that basically breaks down the R2. It's a super simple shoe, but like I said, great change of pace from the typical NMD. The tongue is not connected, I guess is the biggest difference that I didn't mention already. And first impression, I'm honestly impressed. It's exactly what I was expecting it to be, you know, just by seeing it online. And shoes, you know, sometimes they'll show up looking a little bit different than you saw online. This is exactly what I was expecting. Nothing, nothing more, nothing less. So as always, we're gonna take an up close look at them, throw them on the feet, see what they look like. But guys, with all of that said, that's it for me. I really appreciate you guys checking out the videos. This was a quick one. Just wanted to unbox these, share them with you guys. A few other people have already probably shown you a good look at them, but I haven't seen them yet. Trying to get through all my boxes while I'm trying to improve quality on the channel and figure everything out with a brand new camera. Hopefully you guys are enjoying a bit of it. I appreciate you guys sticking around. And if you have anything to, if you've got any suggestions for the channel, anything you want me to change up, anything you want me to take a look at, please comment down below and let me know. As always guys, I really appreciate each and every one of you. 
Thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your time today to watch the video. It means a lot. Until next time, guys, peace out.